Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how to take a measurement with a PCI Express data acquisition device. This particular device is an X-Series multifunction DAC device. And in fact, if we look over to this desktop computer here, I've already got one installed inside the PCI Express slot. I've then got this board cabled over to this connector block. And then I've got analog input channel 0 wired up to this sensor here. This particular sensor is actually an eddy current sensor. And so it uses an uh, electromagnetic field to detect the distance between the sensor and some metal object. And like a lot of different sensors, this particular sensor generates a 0 to 10 volt signal that's proportional to what it's measuring. And so we're going to take a look at what it's like to take that measurement, bringing it into the computer, into software, so that we can then analyze it and graph it and, uh, and view that signal. So let's turn over to LabVIEW. You can see I've started with a blank VI. A VI is a virtual instrument or a, or a LabVIEW program. And if you haven't seen LabVIEW before, it's made up of these two main windows here. I can put them side by side. And if you look, this gray window is actually the user interface called the front panel. And I can right click and I've got a number of different charts and graphs and buttons and knobs, anything I want the user to be able to interact with. And then on the right hand side, on this white window, I've got the block diagram. And this is where the LabVIEW code actually resides. I can right click and I've got a number of different structures like loops and case structures. I've got arrays and mathematical functions and basically all of my different functions that I can use to program. And so in this graphical programming environment, I can drop down things in the block diagram and, and wire them together. So let's start with dropping down the data acquisition assistant. If I drop down this function here, this is a configuration based wizard and you can see it basically walks me through step by step and asks me what I'd like to do with my device. So I can open up, I want to acquire a signal in this case. So I'm going to expand this. I want to do an analog input operation. And in this case, I'm just measuring a 0 to 10 volt signal. And so I'm just going to click on voltage. Once I do that, it goes and asks me which channel I'm connected to. And I've already wired up the analog input channel 0. And so I can select that. And now I get a, a window that asks me, well, how do I want to take that measurement? Um, let's say in this case we want to take continuous samples. And so I can choose continuous samples here. I can set the number of samples that I want to read and the sampling rate, so how fast I want to take those measurements. I can set my input range, so in this case 0 to 10 volts. And I can hit OK. And now the DAC assistant goes in and scripts out all the code in order to, to take that measurement and interface with my device. Once I have this, uh, once this is done, the DAC system is going to ask me if I want to drop down a while loop structure. And I do in this case. It notices that I've configured to take continuous samples. And so in LabVIEW, you use a, a while loop to take multiple samples over and over again. And the last thing I want to do is just right click and create a graph indicator from the data output terminal so that I can view that, so I can actually view my data. And if you notice when I do that, I've got a graph that appears on the front panel. I can expand this out a little bit. I'm going to uncheck auto scale and move the buttons down here. Now when I hit run, I'm starting to take my measurement. Let's make this line a little bit thicker here so it's easier to see. And I can zero in to a certain range. So I'm going to, in this case, look at values between 0 and 10 volts. Now if I reach over, I can see that as I bring the sensor closer to that metal object, I can measure that and, uh, and view it on a graph. Now oftentimes, you might also want to log your data as you're taking that measurement. So I can go back into the DAC assistant. And the easiest way to do that is to use TDMS data logging, which is now built into the, the DAC assistant itself. There's a logging tab that I can open up. And I can basically just check Enable TDMS Logging. Let's choose to uh, put that file on the desktop. And I'm going to call this Eddy Current Sensor. And I'm going to hit OK. And now, when I hit OK, every time I run my program, it actually streams that data to disk. And TDMS is really the most efficient way to stream measurement data over to that disk. Um, and that way, I can open it up in, back in LabVIEW, or I can open it up in another language, like Excel, maybe. So now when I hit Run, I'm going to let this run. And I'm going to vary the distance again so I can get a kind of a waveform going. And then I'm going to hit Stop. And now, if I want to open up Microsoft Excel, I can basically view my data from that TDMS file there. As Excel loads, I can use the Excel plugin that installs when I install LabVIEW. Uh, that's located on the Add-on tab. 
And if I go to add-ins and I go to the TDMS importer, I can basically go to that eddy current sensor. This is the file that we just created. I can hit open. And now I can get all my different measurement data with timestamps. And then I can click on the measurement tab itself and I can see what that data looks like. And I can insert a graph based on whatever data I'd like to see. And you can see I've got basic access to my data now from, uh, from the program that I first created. So that's how you take an analog input measurement with a PCI Express data acquisition device and LabVIEW.